God is calling us. He calls those who love him to arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to show her favor has come. During the Holocaust, Jews throughout Europe and the former Soviet Union suffered unthinkable atrocities. Nazis rounded up Jews and forced them into humiliating tasks, like cleaning streets with toothbrushes. The Jews were beaten. Women were raped. They were killed in front of their family members. And over six million Jews were dead. By the end of World War II, virtually all the Jewish schools, hospitals, and synagogues were destroyed. Jews still face anti-Semitism and attacks. And many elderly Jews still suffer deeply from neglect and extreme poverty. This is how many of God's precious children are living today. His children like Ghana, and her story is absolutely heartbreaking. When I was young, the Nazis came to our village and I was escaping them and one of them noticed me. So the Nazi hit the horse and the horse jumped on me and broke my bones. Ghana is a Holocaust survivor who has struggled all her life and she is still all alone. During the winter time, I feel all the pains because no vitamins and no protein, so my legs and hands are very weak. Her struggle is not just during the winter. Year round, Ghana and so many others like her are hungry and must monthly decide whether to spend their last few dollars on a small amount of food or medicine. As Christians, we must not stand idly by God calls us to show his children mercy, and the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews gives us a wonderful way to do just that, to bless our Jewish brothers and sisters. Shalom, hello from here in the Holy Land. I'm Yael Eckstein, President and CEO of the Fellowship. Thank you for this opportunity to tell you a little bit about our story and how you can be a part of it. My father, my Abba, Rabbi Chiel Eckstein, founded the fellowship in 1983 and really created history by forging unity between Christians and Jews. He built bridges of understanding between our two great faiths and opportunities for us together to serve God by helping those in need. For nearly 40 years, we've been doing just that in partnership with Christians like you Together, we've brought hundreds of thousands of Jews back to their home, Israel. We've provided safety and security to the most vulnerable. And we've fed the poor and helped the impoverished, ensuring that elderly Holocaust survivors, just like Ghana, will live their final years in dignity. Isaiah 58 tells us that a true fast is to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter, when you see the naked to clothe them. As Christians and Jews, this is our scriptural mandate. We must reach out to feed the poor. This is the time to hear God's voice and to show love, compassion, and mercy, especially to the elderly Jews living in Israel and around the world. We need you. Please join us. Together, we can bless Israel and her people. Today is Together for Israel, a journey of faith. Today, we come together to express our love for God and his people. And today, we have the opportunity to do that in a very special way. It only takes $25 to provide a beautiful box full of life-giving food. It will help feed an elderly Jew who lacks the most basic needs that you and I take for granted. And it comes with a note letting them know that Christians in America love them. I'm so grateful to you to bringing uh, this food products. This is what I will eat for the next month with your help. Will you share your bread with the hungry? Let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let's listen for that still, small voice of the Lord, and let's join together on this journey of faith.